I want to pray first. Please pray with me. Our Father God Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth and everything, Creator of our lives, I praise you, Lord. Father God, I praise you. I thank you for everything, for every day. I thank you for the opportunity. I just want to glorify you, Lord. I pray, Father, that you guide me as I share this dream that you gave me. I believe in you, Father God. I believe the Lord Jesus, our Savior. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I believe that you uh, are the one giving me these dreams so I can share it to people. Even just one soul. It, it will be an honor. Father, lead me. Please, don't let anything disturb me. Disturb me from what the Holy Spirit is telling me to do right now. I just want to be used by you, Father God. I am available for you anytime. I am available and I am ready. May you please bless my spirit as well as those who will watch this video. Father God, thank you for changing me in my life. Ever since that dream I had last March 31st of this year, 2022. Please guide me as I do what the Holy Spirit wants me to do. And I hope I please you. I just love you, Lord. Please sanctify my heart. Sanctify my mind and my body and use me for your glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Cover me with your holy blood. Cover me with your holy blood. Heal me. Strengthen me. And even those who are listening right now, who are feeling any kind of disturbance, anxiety, depression, or any kind of sickness and disease, I pray by your holy blood Lord Jesus Christ that you cover them and give them your supernatural healing right now thank you Lord thank you Holy Spirit I am ready to share it thank you in Jesus name I pray amen it's been a while since I have posted my dream because Lately, I've been dreaming like symbolic dreams, which is like, I think, personal. Like, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, it's the chronic cough again. The la I think the last dream I posted was about the dream where I, I gave birth to a baby and I felt it. And then. Then the next dream I had a few weeks ago was about me like showering, taking a shower in public, those kinds of symbols. And also, <coughs> I dreamed that uh, but like two weeks ago, I was thinking of moving back to the city uh, so I can be near my mom and my siblings because here I'm, I'm away from my mom and my siblings and I'm kind of depressed because I'm always at home because I don't have vaccine and here in the village in our village uh, I don't have friends I'm always at home and all my friends and relatives are in Manila in the city I've been uh, telling my husband that I want to move to the city so I can be close to my family but then I had a dream. Uh, my dream was I was 
in my old room where where I was like where I grew up so our hometown in Manila in the city uh, I woke up and I was in my room and then uh, when I was I was lying down in my old bed <coughs> uh, my deceased father was there with my younger brother and I was lying down and I was like sick uh, I was sick and then suddenly a woman a strange woman uh, came up from the closet we had a big built-in closet in our old house in my room and she came out from there but she looked nice she looked like a normal lady probably in her 40s or 50s like that she went out of there but I can only see her I was the only one who can see her she walked to me and she like healed me and I felt better and I was able to get up get up off from the bed and so I felt like I was like okay I was not sick anymore <coughs> and then the lady returned inside the, the the closet and then my my deceased father I asked him I was asking him quietly to to like I was trying to signal him to close the, the, the door of the closet because I was scared because a, a strange lady just went out from there so I was signaling my father And then he closed it. And then when he closed it, I went down and I, I told my mom and my friend uh, that to get ready because we're going, going out. Because I was afraid of the woman from the closet. I was afraid that she will come back for me or anything. Because it's strange, right? So I was scared. And then my mom and my friend looked happy because they saw that I was okay. I was like healed. But I didn't tell them about the lady I saw. And then I went out of the house. <coughs> so I was outside our old apartment. And my mom was walking, uh, was walking ahead of me. And then when I was close to my mom, I was like, I was like about 20 meters away from our house. When I was close to her, I smelled a strong smell of gasoline. And then I said to my mom, Mom, I have to go back and check our LPG gas because I can, I can smell gasoline. And then I walked back. And before I even go to our um, old apartment's gate. Uh, there was, beside uh, the apartment, there was a fire hydrant. You know, it's like uh, something that whenever there's fire, it can be used by the, by the fire fighters. They're just going to turn it on and then it will supply them a lot of water. And I saw it turn to the fire hydrant, turn into a big LPG tank. <coughs> um, maybe about four feet high and four feet high and like three feet wide, like that. So when I was near that tank I suddenly heard this sound Pew! like that Pew! and then all of a sudden I, I I found myself inside a dome it's like a dome of gas so I was inside this like circle of gas a big one 
And then when it happened, the, the older people went away, ran away from the tank. And my mom, she can't do anything. She was just looking at me because she's also afraid. So she said that I should uh, call my brother and run away. <coughs> I try, I tried to run away far from the tank, but it was so hard for me to run. It's like the gas is so thick, it's making me like <sighs> so hard to run away. I couldn't run away from the tank. And I was like inside this dome of gas. And then if if you cover your ears like this, uh, I was I was shouting like brother, brother, brother. That is how it sounded. When you cover your ears, that is how my sh my shouting sounded because I was like inside a big dome of gas, and I was like I didn't know what to do. It's just like, and I was just waiting for it to explode because that's the next thing that will happen, right? <coughs> so <coughs> I looked at the sky and I asked God, like, God, why did you even heal me? Why did you even heal me why did the lady even bother to heal me when I'm going to end up like this and then I said and then I, and then I was waiting for it to explode and I closed my eyes and I said Jesus help Jesus and then I woke up and when I woke up I can I could still smell the gasoline really and I woke up crying again crying all day and I tried to you know forget that dream what I did was I just uh, messaged my sister and my mom so that they could check their LPG tank always make sure that it's always turned off or I even offered that um, I, sh I, I, I can just buy them an induction cooker so they can just you know they can just sell the LPG tank and not use it anymore because and then I was asking God what that dream meant and then I realized that probably the Lord doesn't want me to move back to the city yes days passed two weeks passed and I realized that God doesn't want me to get out of here because it was God who put me here in the first place. God gave us this house. And I am already married in my son's school and his friends are here. And I think that God has a, re there has a good reason why he put me here. So I'm staying here. So ever since that dream, I forgot about the plan to move back to the city. And then my latest dream was uh, to like yes see yesterday yeah my late my dream yet dream yesterday i posted on facebook uh i didn't i don't have any plans to upload it here on youtube because i also thought that it's a personal thing and it was like the, the dream was like like this <coughs> sorry for this chronic cough <clears throat> So the dream was like, it was night time, and I found myself in a poor community where the houses are all made of uh, old wood, you know, like squatters area. And then I was there, and uh, wait a minute, <coughs> I was there, and in Jesus' name, nobody can stop me from sharing this. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. <coughs> okay, so I was there and I saw this neighborhood at nighttime and it was beside a river. There was a river, but it, it was a clean river. I can I can see that it's a clean river. It doesn't smell anything. You know, it's weird that even in my dream, I can smell 
things. I can feel, I can smell, I can even taste. Yeah, I can feel. So, I, it, for me, it's a clean river. And the people were like, relaxing. They even made a, a terrace made of, you know, old wood and stuff. And they put lights there. And then they relax there by the, you know, with the view of the river at night. And then when it was already time to sleep, the people went inside their houses. And I went inside a house of a family. <clears throat> I don't know these people. But I was there. But then I noticed that there were like a few vampires trying to enter the houses through the windows. So these poor people have their houses, have their windows open. It doesn't have any covering or a normal window with co with with a door. Yeah, it's just like an open space for air to pass because we don't have air conditioning. So I told them, you have to cover your windows because I can see vampires and then I can see they try to use uh, cartons, carton boxes, cardboard and then they put it to cover the, the windows and then they use tape to you know cover it and then I told them it's useless they are strong they can they can still enter so what I did because the people are panicking what I did, I told all the people to get out. And then all the people followed me. <coughs> so the people got out, and I was in the center. And I asked, and the, the vampires are just, I don't know, they're, they're outside, they're just looking. And I was there, and then I told the people, uh, raise your hands. And you know, in a church, in the church, it's normal for us to raise hands like this, right? Like that. Like like this, right? Like that. But when I asked them to raise their hands, they were like really raising their hands like that. Straight up. And they're looking up. Because probably they're afraid. Because can you imagine vampires are around while we are, where, well, while we are gathered in the center. So they were raising their hands up high like that, looking at the sky. And I led the prayer. You know what I did? I loudly prayed to God. I was like shouting at the sky at that night. And I was praying the prayer of salvation. The prayer of salvation. Lord God, in, I pray in Jesus' name that you cover us with your holy blood. And uh, we declare that we accept you as our Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, so on and so forth. I was, I was, I, I just kept on shouting prayers and then after i prayed all of a sudden like maybe one third of the people disappeared they just disappeared and then there were few left there were few people left and i was also left <coughs> so what they what we did so the vampires were gone they disappeared too and so they went back to their houses and I was left outside. So then I can see them. They're like, they, they went home like nothing happened. I don't know if they even saw that the people disappeared. They just looked like they didn't care. It's just, it's just like they saw that, oh, okay, the vampires are gone. Okay, going home. It's like that. They just don't care. So I was left there outside. <coughs> and there were like, few families groups of families approaching me and I showed them to the vacant houses these houses this, that were you know left by the people who were taken or disappeared I, I was showing them the terrace the terrace I told you and then the the young girl even said mommy I like this place the river they like they like the river they like the river very much. So then they moved in. 
that the house, and some so, so few families also chose their houses. Then then I thought that okay, the the things, the clothes and the things and the stuff of the people who were like taken were left in the house. But then I also thought in my dream that okay, these are new set of people and they didn't even have any idea what happened here that only a while ago there were vampires here and then just a while ago the owner of the houses were raptured and then these people just don't have any idea so that was my dream yesterday so there I also, so after I dreamt that, I, I went back to sleep. I prayed, of course I prayed. <coughs> and I prayed. Uh, th that was my dream Monday morning, okay? I woke up Monday morning and that was my dream. So today is Tuesday. I woke up this morning from this dream. So I have another dream. But this dream is just, I could just remember a short uh section of it <coughs> in this dream it was like me and my son my son is 16 years old we well we went inside a a big mall which is new and in this mall there's like a new amusement park inside it it looks so good it looks so beautiful with lots of lights it looks like a carnival theme theme sorry a carnival theme mall inside amusement park whatever so my son were and the kids were very excited so i we went there and then as we go there of course there were shops jewelry shops cell phone shops clothes shop and of course they were like in in glass doors right glass um divisions and doors right usually like that and then I think we were done in the amusement park and we were walking and the mall is about to the mall is closed already so we were left inside the mall and we were just hurrying up because the mall is about to close and all the shops were already closed and then I saw we saw two men two men they have mask and PPEs I don't know they're just like in disguise or maybe so that the surveillance camera will not recognize them and so they stopped in a, in a glass shop close it was closed already of jewelry jewelry shop full of big jewelries diamonds <coughs> and I saw and we were like watching them and of course we were like hiding and we, we can see them they they like have a something that they put up no no before that i could see that the that the glasses were like freezing it's like turning into like ice like when it's snowing you know the ice and you know have you seen the movie frozen the the animation frozen elsa anna it's just like that so i I, I saw that the, the glass um, divisions and doors, they were like, they were, there were even sounds, crackling sounds. I don't know. It's just like that. It's just like that. It's, it's like turning into ice or something. It's like freezing cold or something. It's like, so it's forming like that. And then these two, <coughs> they made a hole, a small hole. And I would like to stop them, but I was afraid that they they would shoot me because, of course, maybe they have a gun. So we were just watching them. They 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 made a hole, and then when they made a hole, the the freezing. I don't know how to translate in English, because you know I'm Filipino. My English is just my second language. So it's just like what they did, the whole that they that they are doing, it makes it worse. It's 
it it made the freezing much faster and then i was afraid that maybe the next thing that will happen it is that the glasses will explode at them and of course i'm afraid that if the glasses will will like explode because of the freezing whatever is happening it will the glasses the broken glasses will hit them and also us me and my son so i told my son come on let's run and my son doesn't want to and then i said no let's run and then before and then i saw that it actually exploded but it was like in a slow motion it exploded to the two men and then before it even hit us i i woke up so <coughs> that was my latest dream and i don't even know what it means probably the my dream uh monday morning is two, two days ago it was about you know maybe god wants me to save souls but you know my problem is my chronic cough i have asthma and allergy see i'm allergic to a lot of things dust and dairy i don't have vaccine no nada me and my son we don't have vaccines so there you have it that's my dream and but what i can do is just post it on facebook i post it to groups of believers <coughs> i also post it uh on my wall my private facebook even though i have four thousand plus friends on facebook and just one or two likes it <laughs> my friends and family doesn't even care to read it but it's okay i still i still do it even here in youtube even though i know that uh nobody's watching or even though just a few watch it's okay because it, it's it's what i can do this is what i can do for now and okay so you know whenever i have these dreams it's like it's creating a burden inside me here i can feel that this is heavy I'm just like trying to describe how, to you how I feel. And I keep on like resisting and just telling myself, no, you just record it to yourself. No need to do that because it's a personal thing. But here I am. Here I am documenting it again. And now it's, it's lighter. Now I can breathe well, better. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? Jesus, I haven't seen the face of Jesus. I haven't dreamt of him, even an image of him or, or anything. Just, I always dream like a symbolic dreams like that. And if you can, if you have time, you can search on my channel. My dream last May, March 31st of this year. That is like the turning point of my life. Ever since that dream, a lot has changed in me. Ever since that dream, I, I knew what the Holy Spirit is. And I felt and I ex. And I felt the Holy Spirit in me. And it changed me. Changed a lot in my thinking, in my feeling, in my decision making, everything. Even my marriage. The way I handle my husband. Um, even the fate of my son. Because I'm always at home living with my son and my husband who's always going to work. So it's just the two of them with me every day. But I always tell God that I want him to use my life because, you know, life is precious. And I believe that it was Jesus 
who saved me in my recent asthma attack. I also shared it here on, on my channel. What happened? And Jesus saved me. It was really frightening. I thought it was the end because I already saw myself struggling to breathe and I was like separated from my body. And then all I can just say in my mind because I couldn't speak because I'm strugg struggling to breathe. I just looked at the sky again and just thought, just called Jesus to my mind. I said, Jesus, that's all I said. And then I was able to burp. I burp like that. And then my air passage opened and I was able to breathe again. <coughs> so I think that um, the Lord Jesus loves loves us actually he loves us all even sinners he wants if possible all people to be raptured but I think it's not gonna happen not everyone who calls the name of the Lord will be raptured because even though they say Lord Lord and then the Lord will say who are you I do not know you Maybe, you know, that's what he meant. He would love to take us all, but the truth is, not everyone will be taken. And I think, and I feel, that the time is, the time is near. I can really feel it ever since the start, ever since, you know what, strange, even before the COVID-19 even has become a world issue, maybe months, months before it, I can really feel something's going to happen. So I always invite my family to go to the beach because I keep on telling them to let's enjoy the outside because my, my husband and my son, they love going to malls, and I don't like malls. So I always invite them to go to the, be to the beach because I told them, you have to enjoy it now because I think something will happen that we're not going to enjoy this anymore. And it happened. And then I also have, if you're going to search here in my channel, I also had a dream I posted last week. June of 2021 and it came true so you can go ahead and cross inspect me you can investigate me because that is the that is the you know the right thing to do don't believe everything you see everything you watch especially here on uh, you know on the internet because there's a lot of fake news happening and also there's a lot of people vlogging about rapture using the name of Jesus for donations they are lying to you know to have views and even patrons to give them donations okay <coughs> I don't have any ads on my YouTube on my videos and I don't need any donations even though I don't have money I don't have any savings honestly I think I only have four dollars in my wallet but I'm full I have food to eat every day praise the Lord I'm not asking any donations so I don't need any money from anyone I just want to do this because I feel I had to do this and now I can breathe well I can breathe better praise the Lord so this is what I can share right now and another day has passed praise god and it's now time to sleep again i have to pray to god cry it to god because ever since that dream i had march 31st of this year whenever i pray i cry it's not it's just instant there is a feeling inside me that I long for the Lord so much. 
I haven't felt this longing in love. It's just like, Lord, like I, I always tell him, Lord, please rapture me alive in Jesus' name. Me and my son and my husband. And also, please, if you can, help me save my family and friends. But then, nobody even cares to like, bother to read my post on Facebook and it saddens me but even though I will still keep on doing it praise God let's pray Father God Almighty I thank you that I have the opp- I had the opportunity to share what, what, what I saw in my dream thank you Lord for the protection that you have given us You are my vaccine, Father. Me and my son, we don't have it. And we don't have any plans to have it. I can feel that the signs are here, but please help me. Tell me, teach me what I need to do and what you want me to do. I'm open and available to be used by you. I also pray for the people who is going to watch this video. Please, Lord, touch their hearts, their souls, their minds. Baptize them with your Holy Spirit, Father, so they can be transformed as well. Cover cover us, Lord, with the Holy Blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Protect our bodies, Lord, from any sickness and disease. Protect our minds from any anxieties, any depression. Father, you are all we have and you are all we need. We love you and I know that you love us. And we are so thankful for your love. Father God, in Jesus' name, this is my prayer. That whatever will happen in the next days, You will be with us. And even before the worst happens, I pray, Lord, you will save us. You will take us. Lord, in just a snap of a finger, in just a blink of an eye, we are excited for that sudden change that you will That you will do in our bodies in the blink of an eye may you take us alive father help us use use us for your glory forgive us Lord for all the sins and the shortcomings that we make every day because we are still in the flesh forgive our feelings Lord forgive our fears and worries Forgive our hurts and unforgiveness. Help us to forgive, Lord, 100%. Help us cleanse our hearts and minds. Help us to be holy and to be acceptable. Father God, thank you, Father. Please write our names in the book of life. We await for your return. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you all. And may the Lord be with you always. And can you please pray for me too? I really appreciate it. Thank you.